Hi, y'all. I'm back. I'm back today. I had to go in here with my over-dramatized eyebrows and lips today to give you a message. Thumbs up. Yeah. Get in here. Hit that thumbs up button. So we can talk. So, gather round, gather round. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So, if you are a jealous woman, level up. That's the topic for today. Yes, if you find that you're jealous of anybody, any other woman, then that means you got work to do, baby. You got work to do. It don't mean that they're doing something wrong. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're a bad person. It just means you have work to do. Right? You got you got jealousy. It means you got work to do. Um, a lot of people walk around and a lot of people say, oh, they have a chip on their shoulder or they're jealous or envious of me and I can't do anything. And women treat me bad because, you know, they always talk down to me when I look cute and A, B, C, and D. That's because they're jealous. And jealous people tend to try to pull you down because they got work to do. And you make them look bad. So. Yeah, I'm wearing this old 1950s dress that pushed these boobs up. Like, I, um, I found this dress, and it was like one of those old housewife dresses from the 50s. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they made sure they stuff was sitting up, I promise you. That's how they kept their man uh, providing back in the old days. Kept, make sure them bras and stuff was pushed all up. <laughs> anyway, just like, remember Little Shop of Horrors? Audrey. <laughs> anyway. Nice, Shira. Nice to see you just you was just listening. Okay, thank you, Toshi. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate that. Um do a roller set. Yeah, I gotta I gotta I gotta put them rollers in there. I actually wanted to do that, but I didn't have time. But um I, I, I put a little curling iron to it. <laughs> Thank you, baby cakes on a run, radiant and red, sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Thank you, girl. So, I appreciate that. So, you know, jealousy is not something that you want to let people know that you're jealous. The best thing for a jealous type person to do is disappear for a while, level up, and then come back better than ever. You know, because I know that there's a lot of people out there who just don't know what to do. You know, don't hate on someone else. You know, get information. How did you do this? How did you do that? Maybe they can help you. Don't take the the uh, the other route of being jealous and a hater. You know, people will love to help you. You know, because just like they came up, they can help you come up. It doesn't make sense for you to hate or be jealous on, about something or over somebody when you can be actually getting help from them to you know level yourself up. That's, that's the best thing that anyone could do if they were jealous and or envious, you know. So you might want to, you know, get some advice, try to be their friend or just just listen to them. If you don't want to talk to them, you, you know, follow their example or whatever. You don't have to acknowledge them. You know, some people just don't get along. But if there's something about that person that you do actually admire you know, take the high route and learn from them because you can gain a lot more in life by learning from someone rather than trying to use all that extra energy that could be going towards your level up to tear them down. And that's what I tell everybody. That's what I tell all my haters. That's what I tell anybody who has haters or jealous family members, you know, and Call them out on the jealousy if they don't know how to stop. And then tell them, well, you know I can help you, right? Once you call out someone, it's basically over because they will stop doing it because they know that you know. And 
you know, once you are, you know, able to help other people and give them advice and things like that, they'll either take it or they won't. You know, some people just would rather stay jealous than do the work. And there's nothing you can do about that. So if you if you talk to one of those type of people who are very jealous but are too lazy to do the work, it's their fault. There's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. All you can say is, well, I'm sorry you're too lazy to get up and do stuff. They don't, you know, I'm sorry you feel that way. You could look this good, too, if you did A, B, C, and D. So uh, I think 2020 is the year that we need to start calling out people. Y'all watch me do it every time I get on live. You need to start calling out those people because it's time for them to stop and look at themselves in the mirror instead of focusing on you. You know, whenever the next time someone comes up to you and says some snide remark, some something nice, nasty, or you know, some type of call them right out, but do it in a, in a way. Where, you know, if it's your job, you don't get fired, but call them out. It's that time. You shouldn't have to deal with that anymore. You know, you made it this far. You shouldn't have to deal with that, uh, those scallywags. That's what I'm going to call them. You shouldn't have to deal with pygmies and them, you know. So call them out on it. Make sure that, they, that you see them and that they know you see them. And either they'll shut up, be your friend, and learn from you, or... And stop bothering me. Okay. The diva. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Should you stay quiet about your provider? Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Do y'all remember that show, Everybody Hates Chris, with uh, Tashina Arnold? And every time she got on a job, she, uh, you know, and people started being mean to her or she didn't like what was going on. She's talk, talk about how many jobs her husband got and how she don't need this job. And, you know... <laughs> She would get fired or walk out. <laughs> when you boast and brag about, you know, having a provider and stuff like that, a lot of people will sabotage you on purpose because they're jealous that they don't have one. They probably sitting there taking care of a Dusty. Thank you, Abosidi. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Super pretty. Thank you, girl. So when you sitting over there bragging about what your man bought you and how he paid everything and, you know, got you a new house and car. They're sitting over there struggling, yeah, with two jobs, trying to make ends meet for their dusty. So, of course, that makes people mad. So the less you talk about what you have, the better you are, you know, off without attracting haters and jealous people. Now, I, uh, I have a YouTube channel, so, of course, I got to talk about it, but not everyone has to talk about it, you know. How do you call out a nice, nasty friend? Just, just like you call out a nasty friend. It's like, I know what you're doing. A backhanded compliment is not a compliment. That's what I would say. Uh, I'm glad you sh your show has been growing over the year. This is my first comment. I usually check for the hue. Oh, thank you, Darren. Darren Brown. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Darren. I appreciate that. Must have been as red that drew, that drew you in today, huh? <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so nice, nasty, call them out. Be like, I know what you're doing. That's not a compliment. Why don't you just say what you need to say? <laughs> That's how I'd call them out. Or I would translate what they were trying to say. Oh, do you mean why do I A, B, C, and D? Translate it for them. Go ahead and say what they really want to say. And watch them act silly. Thank you, Strawberry Lowly. You told a potential that you have nothing to wear to dinner date, and he said, it's not a fancy place. Don't worry. Should I cancel or be patient? Thanks. Love you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, it's not a fancy place. Well, you know, um, he's not going to give you no money straight up like that, you know. Show up show up with with something on that would probably embarrass him okay and show up with something on that's going to embarrass him how about that see if he take you shopping after that 
Wear a t-shirt that say I was stupid. <laughs> I went brokey. Oh, I'm just joking. But, um. I wear something that was way out of style. So go go to Goodwill and get you one of the prom dresses from the eighties, girl, or the seventies. Like, get, go to Goodwill and go get you something as tacky as you can find and show up. I mean, if you if you might as well have some fun, you might get some money. I had to borrow my grandma's clothes. Okay, anyway, so, you know, and then compliment everybody else's outfit. Oh, you look so pretty. I love your shoes. I love your dress. Oh, my God, where did you get that outfit? It is so pretty. I wish I could have an outfit like that. Okay. <laughs> I would definitely... Definitely. Is this lipstick level up? Yes, this is, uh, I think this is number eight or number five, whichever one is the lighter red in my liquid lipstick collection. Yes. Or actually I blended them together, number eight and number five. And this is the color that you get. Um, how do you compete with leveled up women who do cook and clean? Hire a maid. That's how you compete. Hire two maids. You're going to be out doing them, child. Um, like I said, you know, a man shouldn't be marrying you or dating you for your cooking skills. Okay. If that's why they're dating you, there's, an, there's a problem. Okay. They shouldn't be dating you for that. Do you date a man on his skills to change your oil in your car or to do handy housework? Okay, is your man coming home and doing work in your house after his regular job? Then no. That should not be a requirement. I would I don't have to compete with people that can cook. I know how to cook, but I'm not gonna do it. Not unless I'm married and I feel like cooking. You know, so I'm not doing any of that. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. You have jealous coworkers. I get this. I used to get this question all the time. You got jealous coworkers. Make them even more jealous. You don't back down. You you keep going, you know. The next day you wear something even better. The next day you look even better so that they know that they don't get to you. And the more they hate on you, the better you're going to come in looking. Okay. And they're going to have something more to hate. Oh, oh, you hating on me? Why you got on that makeup? Okay. Wait till you see me tomorrow. I'm going to have on red tomorrow. Wait till you see me the next day. I'm going to have on pink with cleavage out. And heels. Watch. You know, don't give them something to hate on. Give them something to hate on and be jealous of so that they shed it up. Because they think the more you, they say something, that more it fuels you and it's backfiring. It's backfiring on them. Oh, where you going after work? Why are you all dressed up today? This is not dressed up. <laughs> that means that translation, why are you sloppy every day? Why don't you care about yourself? That's the trick. That's what you're saying when you say, oh, I'm not dressed up. This is my casual. What you're really saying is why you look like a slob on a daily basis. Don't you care about what you look like? I, because I do. Thank you, Fatty Too Baddie TV. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm still leveling up and only attract dusties. I get bored, though. Should I still use them for what I can or completely refrain from the dating until I'm up to my standard? Thanks for everything. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, I say, you know, keep going. Um, it, it should push you further to keep going if you are not um, dealing with dusties, you know. 
um, refrain from them dusties and keep going because you're going to go get back comfortable with a dusty and, and then have to start over. So keep going. This should be more motivation to push you further. You know, there you go. Um, you really trigger women by just simply walking by. I'm not con conceited, nor do I think I'm better than anyone. But the way a lot of women be behave towards me, you would have thought that I was Beyonce. Girl, the story of my younger, younger life. Ooh, I, I used to love that feeling. It's like crushing souls. When you walk into the room and you know you all of that and everybody turned their head. Ooh, cha. That would have been less. I remember that old song from the 80s. That's how I felt. Or, or the Tupac song. All eyes on me. That was my theme song when I walked in the door. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Look. Okay. Have you some theme music. In your mind um but i love that feeling i know i'm drinking and eating free tonight and getting some numbers and uh my stuff gonna be paid today you know that's the feeling that you want to get when you walk into a room that's why you need to come out looking cute on a daily basis because everywhere you go you're gonna look better than everybody uh, I took Layla and Sasha out to eat um, the other day. And, you know, we was in a very nice neighborhood, like a lot of money, da da da. And I was still the best looking one in there. You know, even though a lot of these women have money, they still look like who did it and why. And it was sad because, you know, all their hoods would be t uh, breaking their necks to look backwards or, you know, whatever. Why don't you look like that anymore? You know, because, you know, most of the people there were like married and blah looking. And I'm like, I still, I'm, I'm glad I could walk into the place on, you know, most anywhere and, you know, in this side of town, in this neighborhood. And I still like killing it. I'm feeling depressed. I'm 23 on the process of level up and seem to attract only beautiful and broke black guys in their late 20s and early 30s. I want late 30s with money. What can I do? Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Late 30s with money. Probably not going to happen. Um, I don't know how, like, honestly, late 30s, girl, I'm 40. You think a man that looks like Close to my age is still going to be ugly. No, they still going to be, they get better looking with age. So you have to go older than that. And also maybe late 40s. You might have better luck with the late 40s. Okay. Um, and go to the side of town where they don't hang out. You know. And go to places where no 20 year old would be found. <laughs> okay. Thank you though, Sprinkle Sprinkle. You gotta, you gotta think different and get out there with the older people. And you'll always be the youngest looking cutest one. Right. You can't be with an old fart. Well, then don't be with an old fart. Be with a broke fart. <laughs> I had good for, you know, everybody has their preference. You say your fiance is 71, okay. You're going to be a young widow. It's enough abundance to go around. Exactly. So, you know, let's get back to the topic of how if you make other people jealous or if you are a jealous person, you know, I said it means that you have work to do or those other people have work to do. And I was talking about like coworkers, you know, family members, people that make nice, nasty comments and talk trash about you and say, oh, why are you so dressed up? Ooh, why are you always looking like this? Why you got to put on makeup? Da, 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 da. You know, and I always say that it's because they're jealous and they have work to do and you can't uh, lower your standards so that they can feel good about doing the least with themselves. OK, you can't make yourself look ugly because they don't want to look cute. You can't make yourself look less than you're supposed to because they too lazy to get up and do something. And that's what you need to tell them. Like straight up. I said 2020 is the year you need to tell some haters off 
2020 is the year that you need to tell the haters the truth. Look, just because you too lazy to roll your butt up out the bed and get dressed and put on some makeup and do your hair and take care of yourself does not mean that I'm that lazy. Okay. You can tell how lazy a person is by how they look. Okay. I'm not lazy. Da, da, da. Well, you look lazy. <laughs> you look lazy. You look like you drag your feet, too. You look like you shuffle down the aisle in the grocery store. You know, you sometimes it's time to tell them off because they need to hear it. They've been getting away with it too long. Yeah, I tell them off like I tell them off. So they disappear, but they tail between their legs. Okay. So gotta banish them jealous people. Or if you one of them jealous people, you need to get get your work in. You know, I'll have people on, I'll have trolls on my channel talking trash with no picture, because they already know. They already know I'm come for. Her. And they, you know, if you was a, a if you had you know, if you look decent, you would put your picture up there. So I already know. No picture me ugly. Sorry, people with no picture, but get a picture up there. So <laughs> if you're going to troll and you don't have a picture, I know you ugly. That's just number one. I know you're lazy and I know you're jealous. So, um, you know, that's why we need to call people out so that they can stop and you can focus on, you know, living your best life. Most people are afraid to call people out for some strange reason, but I call them out. <laughs> so, um, broke men prefer bad hair, bare face, because they know rich men like put together women. That's true. The same with a man. You know, like your man is telling you, well, you don't need to do all of that. Da 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 da. da. Oh well. You don't need to look all cute. You don't need to leave the house with all that makeup on. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. You don't need to uh, A, B, C, and D. Okay. I might not need to, but I want to. So I am. And you don't need to tell me how to dress. Thank you, Jennifer Sprinkle Sprinkle. In your opinion, in order, what's the three best websites to use to sell products? T-shirts. I'm donating again because... It's you. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Poshmark. Poshmark is Poshmark and Etsy um, are really big, so people will find you easier. And like when they search something, usually Poshmark or Etsy pops up first in the shopping category. So Poshmark and Etsy. And then number three, I would say Amazon. You know, Amazon, Poshmark, and Etsy are the top three. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Um. Thank you, Exotic Jennifer. What a name! One butt cheek is bigger than the other. From silicone injections, any tip on how to buy clothes that can cover and still be classy? I live in LA, and pretty just have malfunction in there. Why don't you get you some shapewear? Get you some shapewear. That will, you know, push that other one, get you some small uh, spanks or something so that you can kind of level it down and then um, probably stick to more wearing skirts because you can't really see the bottom of your butt cheeks in a skirt. So stick to wearing like A-line skirts or something like that um, because it won't, someone said a butt pad. Or you can get like some, some silicone, uh, not silicone. Uh, yeah, they have silicone butt pads you can put back there. Or you can cut out some foam and, you know, fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. But I, I say try to skirts, A-line skirts probably would hide it. Okay. Right. Um, But sorry that happened to you. Anyway, so back to the jealousy thing. Um, if your own family is jealous against you, now this one is 
this one affects a lot of people because they feel guilty or they feel bad that their family won't approve of their lifestyle or be, you know, or say good stuff about them and da da da. Okay, there's a saying, you know, you you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. So my best advice is treat them just like they're treating you. Okay, if they have the courage to treat you that way and you are their family, then you need to have the same amount of courage and treat them the exact way that they're treating you. You know, whatever they're hating on you for, you need to find something about them that they could improve on or that they need to work on as well. You know, you need to tell them off too. I'm sorry you don't like the way that I look, but I don't like the way you look, which is why I get in this mirror every day and put on makeup, lipstick, do my hair, watch what I eat because I don't like the way you look either. Okay, that's how you say that. <laughs> Thank you, 1025. Well, I always miss your question. You must you must be putting it on when it's scrolling up. Men with six figures approach me, but how to get a millionaire? Look like the type of woman a millionaire wants. You know, a millionaire is different. They're not going to do the same thing as a regular dude. You know, they're going to be busy. They could take you or leave you. So you got to act like, you know, you like them. A lot, you know, um, you got to be where they hang out. You got to, you know, you got to get in where you fit in. You got to get into the circles, you know, get into the circles, go to um, events where you know that they're going to be mingle, get into that social circle. That's how you meet them. Fundraisers, auctions, stuff like that. Girl. Gotta get into that circle. Gotta get into the circle of life. <laughs> Okay. Make it your mission. You know, make it your mission. I got to get into this circle. I was I was in a circle of, of rich people. I didn't like it. I had to get up out of there. I mean, it for me, I'm I'm too different. I I'd rather just be set and satisfied and not have to do all of that. So you know, but if you like that sort of thing, go for it. Met a sugar daddy one month ago. He's given me 2K so far. We talk every day and spent the night. Should I go to the with the flow or distance myself and make him miss me? Um, ask him for some more money. It's time. Sprinkle, sprinkle. No, you need to stay on that and get more money because like... One, I don't know how many times you've seen him, but you need to get way more money than that. Okay. So, yeah, I I didn't like the, the people in the circle. So, you know what I mean. Thank you, uh, Brianna. My husband was even jealous of me before leveling up. He asked for a divorce, then got mad. I didn't fight for him. <laughs> he didn't offer enough to fight for. Exactly, Brianna. I'd be like, I'm sorry with you. You did me a favor, right? Sprinkle, sprinkle. So the thing is, you know, uh, I don't know. I was in like this little social circle and it was like, I tried for like two weeks and I was like, I can't do this. These people are crazy. They own medication. They got problems that they think are problems, but ain't problems. I'm like, oh, can't do it. But I mean, kudos to those who can. I just, I was, I was at an age where I was like, looking at them crazy. I was very young. It's like, like we were hanging out with like, uh, this girl who was a, an heir to her for family's fortune. She didn't have nothing to do all day, but hang out, eat sushi and hang out with gay musicians. And then they would come and then she's like, Oh, I want to invite you to this fundraiser tonight. <laughs> it's going to be at this boutique and it's for such and such. It's like, okay, I'll come. So we went in there and everybody's, you know, got on their little fake smile, eating their little hors d'oeuvres, sipping their champagne. And I'm like, it, it, oh, I was very young. I was into the partying thing. I'm like, well, I want to go to the club. Like I was 20, 21. And I'm like, this is not, I was too young. If I had hit that and a little bit older, I probably would have navigated that well. But if you, if you're, if you're able to stomach a lot of that type of stuff, go for it. That's how you do it. You get into those circles. Thank you, Onla, Onla, 
Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate that. Ooh, that's a nice donation. Ooh, that has a little cute bird. <laughs> or rocket. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hey, Auntie Sheer, I met a rich man that is single, but he's influenced by his twin brother and mother. How do I counter then get him fixed on me? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Agree with everything they say, but twist it. Don't you know how to do that? You know, he's right. He's absolutely right. Which is why I think A, B, C, and D. That girl, you know, the twist stuff. Your mother is so right. That's why I love her. Because she always is so correct, you know. And even, you know, she said this, this, and that. I totally agree on everything. Plus, add your stuff in. Add your stuff on her stuff. And then in his little mind, he's like, it's all the same to him. It's like she's agreeing with her, so that must mean she agrees. And then she's putting extra stuff on the end of it, which the the end result is what you're looking at. You know, he says, "Okay, well, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do that." So now you end too. Okay, you gotta flip it on him. Um, don't work against them. Work with them, girl. Let them help you. Help them push your point. Let them help you push your point. Mm hmm Um, right. Anyway. Posting a different the level. I always say wear some dresses and some heels. Wear a dress and heels. Skirt, dress, or heels on dates. Whatever else you're wearing, I don't know. I'm going to wear some. I, every date I went on. Even when I was already with James, I wore dresses and heels. Sometimes I wore pants, but most of the time, men like dresses. They like the feminine aspect, okay? Get you something that shows off your figure, not too revealing. Maybe show a little cleavage, maybe a little leg, but not both at the same time. Dress classy, sexy, okay? Anybody can figure out what to wear on a date. Um, your taste may not be the same as my taste, but I always say wear a dress with heels, you know, the most flattering dress on anyone is a wrap dress. So that flatters most figures. I just feel that your style is up to you because my style is very uh, different and it doesn't work for everybody. And, you know, if I pick out certain things, ooh, that looks old fashioned because you used to shop at Rainbow. You know, not you in particular, but some people, they don't know, you know, what classy sexy is. And I would rather just them find their own way so that they can grow and understand. And I always say, wherever you're going to go hang out and freestyle, go people watch there. And don't wear anything that's going to make you stick out like a sore thumb. You know, thank you, Alexandria Grant. The key to being unbothered when dealing with jealous co workers and jealous exes or boyfriends, whether it's on social media, in gossip, or directly. Thank you, Alexandria Sprinkle Sprinkle, is to call them right out on it as soon as they say it. That's what you say. That's how you deal with it. You just say, oh, okay, I see you're a little jealous today. You know, your jealousy is showing. Don't hate. You know, own it. Like I always say, if you're if you're going to deal with it, at least own it. If you're going to deal with it, own it. Like, okay, I know you're jealous of me. I mean, if I like I always say to these people who come try to troll me, if I wasn't me, I'd be jealous of me, too. So I understand. That's nice. Then they'll be like, they can't say nothing else because they already know that you know. Call them out on it. Who cares? Let them know you know. I don't care that you're jealous. I, you should be. After all this work, you better be. So, <laughs> or you could be nice, nasty. And when they say, oh, you look too... Why are you all dressed up today? Why you got on that makeup today? Da, da, da. Just the response I was going for. But what do you mean? I want to be extra, baby. I like being extra. You know, oh, I missed the donation. Thank y'all for telling me. Because sometimes when people donate, it's scrolling right up and I miss it. Thank you, Miss Donald. I'm, you're 44. You had a date with 75. He's tall and great shape. Trying to lock him down. Any specific advice? 
Girl, start saying we, us. Hold his hand. Girl, lock him in like this. When you walk with him, put your arm and in, in, in arm in arm with him. Girl, hold on to him. Walk like you proud, girl. Start like, you know, talk about us and we and, you know, start making future plans, including him. Oh, you see me in your future, huh? I sure do. Don't you see me in yours? I mean, can't you see we're meant to be? You're the man I've been waiting for all my life. But lay it on thick, girl. And tell him what you need to hear. You so strong. You so smart. Okay. Don't every time you go somewhere with him, y'all holding hands and interlocked. Now, because men get used to that, you know, and make sure you go out a lot and make sure you always do that because once they get used to that, you know, it's going to be hard to get unused to it. It's going to be hard to let that go. So they're going to start to see you as something more. You hold them hands, interlock them arms, make eye contact. Divine goddess. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hi, Shira. I'm 20, so I've been freestyling and nobody's approaching 20. Oh, people tell me I look like I'm still in high school. Put on some more makeup, girl. Dress more classy. Put you some heels on and get you some makeup. Get you. I don't know what your nails look like, but maybe taper them down a little bit if they're too, you know, young looking. Uh, get you some classy clothing. You know, nothing trendy. Heels, classic heels, you know, you want to look like you're a little bit older and sophisticated so that, you know, people won't be embarrassed to take you out, you know, so get a more mature wardrobe, classy wardrobe. Mm -hmm. You see the higher heels, but <laughs> so, yeah, no trends, no trendy clothes, no hoop earrings. No, you know, crazy color nails, none of that. You gotta you gotta class it up if you want people to think you're mature, you know. Um, so what my hair doing today? I need to straighten that. It's like a little wave right there, getting on my nerve. Yeah, you gotta you gotta class it up. Thank you, Jennifer Sprinkle Sprinkle. In your opinion, is Instagram promotion tools for marketing and starting a YouTube channel a better selling tactic than using Amazon? Is you need both. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yep, Jennifer, you need both. You need both, both, both. You got to sell on everywhere. Thank you, Queen Care Cosmetics. Sprinkle, sprinkle. This man asked me what color thong I had on, but since he couldn't afford to buy me a drink today, I declined the dessert and said I'd rather order it when you can afford it. Need money before next date. Girl. I hope it wasn't no stranger to ask you what color thong you had on. <laughs> I'll say money green. Thank you, Mary Mag. Mary Mage. Shira Vavoom. What's on them lips, girl? This is my um, Level Up Cosmetics um, number eight and number five mixed together in the liquid lipstick. Yes. Or you can even get the cream lipstick, the Shira 7 lipsticks, and, and mix the two reds because they're both, you know, they're similar colors. Thank you. Um, Click the dollar sign in the chat. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Is 26 too old to practice? Practical it. Hold on. Um, girl, there's people in the old age with uh, wrinkles practicing it. What you talking about? And they're never too old. Yeah, too late. <laughs> Hypergamy, yes, or just gold digging. The inner goal. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Hello, Queen. I want to quit my full-time job and take out a loan to start my business. I'm single mom with bills. Girl, what you trying to do? Why don't you just go get you a sugar daddy, skip the loan, and get the money from him? Why are you finna go into debt? 
girl, go get you a sugar daddy, and that's your loan. Okay? Don't get up in no bank. What if you can't pay the money back? What if you? What if your business fails? Girl, go get you a sugar daddy. I, I, why would you step foot in a bank when you can just go get a sugar daddy? Eric Ricky Blaze. Eric or Ricky Blaze. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Shira, red is your color. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, go get you a sugar daddy. and he, That's your loan. How much money you need to start a business? Start online. It's free. Whatever you're trying to do, you can do it online unless it's doing hair or something. You know, if you're selling products, sell it online. I think it was Bill Gates was recently quoted saying, if your business is not online, you will not, or something like, if your business is not online, you may not have a business soon. That's what he said. Let me see. I think I had the quote somewhere. Get, get an online business. Thank you, Ananda. Ananda. Hi, Shira. He is my company's client. Divorced. Ticks all boxes. What? No matter what, I can't get him to get more, commit more to me apart from a few dates, issues. He knows I have money already. Any advice? Girl, fake lose your money. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh my gosh, I just lost all my money. Fake lose your money, girl. I was hacked. I was robbed. I had a bad investment. Fake lose it. Oh, thank you, King DJ. To if your business is not on the internet, then your business will not. Then your business will be out of business. Thank you. Yeah, that's the quote I was looking for. Thanks. Now I have to look. So come through, come through. So yeah, lo lose your money, and then you cry about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now he's gonna feel like the big hero. Okay. Sometimes you gotta fake it to make it, hey. You wanna get your lips did, but the bad stories got me scared. Have you gotten them redone? Da, 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 da. Um I I got them done like a walk a month or so ago, but there are different um, methods. So the best method is the one where they don't even poke your lip. They poke like right here. And they go inside your lip. So there's no bruising or anything. I forgot what that method's called. But ask them about it. Mm -hmm. mm. How do you know if you're being too greedy? Um... What do you mean too greedy? Here's my thing. If you want something and it's within reason and the man can afford it, it's not greed. If you want something that's very expensive, that's not very reasonable and the man can't afford it, that's greed. Okay. But when you know that they can afford it, it's nothing. You know, just like when you have kids, when your kids know you can afford something. They don't feel greedy for asking for it. But then you take a kid in a poor family, they feel greedy for asking for, you know, something that the normal kid gets automatically. So just think about it like that. OK, who jealous? Who jealous? Who jealous? <laughs> right. Oh, we got a jealous person in here today. Oh, let me read the comment. Okay. Kitty Witty says, Shira, your miserable attitude and bitter soul is corrupting you from the inside out, spreading your legs while on your back and swindling old man is not a talent. Yes, it is. Who you telling? Your husband stealing home wrecking hoe. That's right. And everybody lined up to figure out how to do what I did. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Okay, watch your man, watch your husband if you got one, because you probably don't. Line up, here goes, ladies. Story time, tell you how to steal a man, tell you how to make a living laying on your back instead of laying on your back for free. 
having to go to work right after with a wet booty and a dry purse. Let me tell you. Yes, gather around. <laughs> Y'all don't want to be like Kitty over there. She at work. <laughs> and she, okay. Y'all don't want to be uh working for your Dusty instead of... Y'all don't want to be giving it up for free now, do you? All right, then. I'm going to gather around. Get your popcorn. Get, get your drink. <laughs> Swindling. I like you. I loved your colorful vocabulary. It was very articulate and it made me smile. Very poetic. So thank you. Um. <laughs> They mad. They choose to work like men. Okay. Thank you, Coco Claire. I'm loving life and I want to thank you for all the confirmations, guidance, and knowledge. Girl, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You're welcome. You know, when you level up and you you know your value and worth and men start treating you better, you love waking up every day. It's like fun. Life becomes fun again. You know, it's like a whole, a whole new world. <laughs> right. I'm still a hoe. Okay. I what men like. Last time I checked, they like them hoes. <laughs> what men like. I'm not actually, I, I'm not really a hoe, but um, I can act like one. I can act like what they like. Sure. Good. So, You're pretty respect to you and your channel. Thank you, Tyla. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Mm-hmm. My thoughts on nipple piercing. I don't know. Shoot. Might scare some people, especially if they're old. Um, thank you, Jennifer. I think my questions weren't clear. My business is up, but which one of the which one is the most number one important focus to put on big marketing budget towards it. Um, you want clients. So the best way to get clients is to have social media. Put yourself out there social in social media or your business out there. Share, share, share. You know, interact with the people. Go live maybe using whatever business product that you're selling. But you need people. You need clients. You need followers first and foremost. Then you can put advertisement out. But I would work on uh, followers first because who are you going to advertise to if you don't have anybody following you? You know? So um, I would get my name out there on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, you know, wherever. Um, and then once I got some following, I would put the advertisement out. That's what I would do. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah. Why dumb go girls come on here trying to preach? I don't know, because they they mad at they man or the lack of men who are giving them attention. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, haters are real. Hate and jealous people are real and people will call you all type of names and whatever, whatever. But but you know, you gotta be it don't matter to me. You got to look pretty good to steal somebody's husband. You got to look pretty good to, uh, you got to have a lot of game to do what I did or what I did. So what she telling me is she ain't got no game and she mad. Okay. I'm not ashamed of anything that I did. I, I did it on purpose. Why would I be ashamed about it? That's, shoot, that's some talent. Right. How do I get a consultation with you? I do want to write me on my Etsy store, Dark Realm. Yeah, hit contact owner and write me there. Right. <laughs> C 
So, you know, it, I don't care who trolling on me. You're a, trolls look like trolls. How about that? You looking like a troll? Paul, probably you're a troll. If you look like a troll in a mirror, you probably look like a troll online. Get your level up on. If you if something is wrong with you, if you're not, if you don't have the look, figure out a way to get a look that men like. You know, if you're jealous of somebody else who's, you know, getting what they want in life because they took the time to make sure that they want it to look the way that they want to look and get the type of lifestyle that they wanted, you could do the same. You know, um, I'm, I'm serious. You know, you can't just look like you was looking already. You got to change. <laughs> you know, and, you know, any any type of personal business that people are spewing online about me, like I really wouldn't even bet money on that information. So, you know, it, it's sad because people think they know you and they know nothing. And that's how I like to keep them. That's why I don't correct them. I let them think whatever that make them sleep at night will. Whatever let them fall asleep, you know, is fine with me. Because I have nothing to prove to anybody. And I, I'm glad that they got the lies because that means they're even further away from the truth and knowing who I really am and what I really have. Let them stay in the dark. Don't give them no light. The dark is where they belong without knowing a thing. Okay. Let them sleep. Right. Let them think what they want. As long as it helps them go to sleep at night and feel confident about their little pathetic surroundings, good for them. I don't care. Sorry. How could I get what? How can you be a pygmy? How can you get back a man without being a pygmy? Let him see you with somebody better and make and hope he calls. You know, a man always wants you when he can't have you. You see. Make sure he make sure you know where he hang out. Make sure you know where he'll be at a certain time. Show up there with somebody that look better and have more money. Even if it's just a friend. He don't know. Thank you, Wanla. I hope I'm saying your name wrong. Right. Or Shira, I have therefore no picture because I don't want to. Okay. You don't want to be detected by uh, International Dusty. Okay. Um, but you have seen my picture somewhere else. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm sure you're cute. Okay. <laughs> I understand that you don't want everybody knowing what you look like. But I was just saying that the people that are coming on here to troll, not not the nice ones. Okay. Diva says, stop worshiping she or she's an unmarried 40-year-old woman. Girl, I wish I was unmarried because I'd be getting three, four, five, six bags. <laughs> Shoot, that certificate be holding me back sometime, but hey. That marriage certificate be holding people back, but <laughs> why do y'all want to go backwards to get new man? Get a new man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Girl, yeah, y'all want to hear the rumor? I'm not married. James makes seventy thousand a year. What else did they be saying on Chapstick Alley? Crusty Alley. Girl, they wish that. And the sad thing is, all those things that they say about me, they can't even reach. They can't even touch the lowest version of me. Okay. They can't find no, they can't find nobody making 70000 a year. They can't find no man that wants to marry them making 70000 a year. And James Wake make way more than that. But that, you know, that's they they're putting out. That's funny. I mean, I could make that in my sleep. Why would I need a man to make that much? Thank you, Lola J. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, Shira, I'm about to hop onto the conference call, but you look so pretty today. Love that red on you. Thank you, girl. Happy New Year. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Lola. Mm-hmm. She says 70K is still good. It, You know, it's decent. 
But I make more money than that. So why would I be with a man that don't? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. They can't even get to that. So no man that they date can't even get to that. So that's not an insult, but it's not correct. So, um, They can't even get to my lowest. That's sad. Anyway, I'll, you know, whatever helped them sleep at night and feel good about their pygmesia lives, I, I wish them the best. I mean, as long as it's helping them deal with their issue. If I can help somebody feel better about themselves by believing what they want to believe, then so be it. Right. They are jealous. And then if you go through all the uh, if you go through all the pictures in the comments, you see why they mad. I see why they mad. I'd be mad too if I look like them. I, I actually I get up and go do something, but um, I guess I'd be mad too. Thank you, Gray and Marie Sprinkle Sprinkle. We twenty today, boo. Red lips and red cardigan. Oh, I see your red lips all the way from here on your profile picture. Yes, red looks good on us. Uh -huh. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Um. <laughs> Yeah, no. You looked in Harris County records, none for Letitia Pyle. Good. There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be a marriage record for my maiden name, fool. That means I would have married myself, my brother, or my daddy. If you had been a real fan, you would know I did not change my name. But hey, y'all can go tell that to Chapstick Alley. You're not going to find me because I didn't change my name. Okay. James' last name is not Padua. That's my daddy's last name. Why I didn't change my name? Because I'm lazy. And I didn't feel like changing all my bank records, all my uh, credit cards. I did not care to change my name. I kept my name. <laughs> so if you're looking for my last name and you can't find a marriage license, it's because I didn't change it. Big dummies. <laughs> Okay, we officially old calling our age group. And if you want to look back and see my marriage license, I actually show it on one of my videos. I can't remember which one, but it is up there as well as wedding pictures and so on and so forth. Okay, but hey, when you have a lot of time, you should go through all my videos because it seems like you have a lot of time to go and research people. So you might want to go just look at my videos. Every answer you ever need and are looking for are in there. So go watch my videos. You'll see my marriage. You'll see my wedding. You'll see that we got married on a yacht. You'll see um, the wedding reception pictures, probably. You'll see the houses that we've lived in. You'll see a lot of stuff. So why don't you just go get to the videos? It's going to help you figure it out a lot sooner than taking Ratchet uh, Pygmisha's word for it, who's researching the wrong name. But hey, y'all got to do better than that. Right. They just bored. I know. You, you online researching me. Why don't you research how to do your hair? Why don't you research how to get a man to give you some money? Why don't you go watch my videos instead of trying to expose me? You can't expose nothing. I've been married for uh, 14 years, okay? Been with the same man 18 years. Got two kids, okay? Where, let me Google Earth your address and see what you looking like, okay? You so busy trying to find me? Let me find you. See how many burglar bars on your window and what neighborhood you live in. Y'all know I did that one time. I had some hater talking trash. I looked, I, I found her address and I was laughing. I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to show this to the camera because I'm embarrassed for you. Okay. Got your burglar bars on the window. Girl, bye. <laughs> so, you know, I don't want to bring you down just because you want to bring me down. But hey. I'm not even going to show where you live because I'm embarrassed for you. Okay. Yeah, I'm 40. 
Year 20 got proposed to by a 30-year-old man. He's not a millionaire, but he's financially situation. He like four times better. Girl, if he ain't making six figures and up in a state where, you know, he can get you a house and car and you don't have to work, I, I don't do it. It ain't worth it. Hold out. If you look good, you can do better. You know, if you can drive the car you want, live the life you want, not have to work. And, you know, if you should have a child or a couple kids that he can afford that too, then go for it. If he can't, don't do it. Okay. Unless he has a, the type of job that, like, you know, an engineer, an architect, you know, a surgeon or something. No. I'm 24, very pretty, great personality, but I freeze up around new people. I live in New York City. What can I do to not get awkward reading new Girl, have you look? I don't know. You can take some CBD oil, calm down, take a drink, take a shot, whatever you need to do. But you need to get you get you need to get out of that shyness and you need to start talking to everybody you come in contact with as practice. Talk to the clerk, talk to the person sitting next to you, you know, um, in a waiting room. Just get used to talking to people. And you would talk to everybody the same. You know, you just get out there and, and do it. Okay. Anyway. So. Mm -hmm. You've got CBD detox tea. It really works. Okay. What'd it do? What is the benefit from it? I mean, I know what CBD does, but what does the detox do? The tea and the detox. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's 2020. Call out them haters. Call out them jealous people. You know, make them look stupid because that's exactly what they are. If you focusing more on me than yourself, then I know the problem. If y'all need CBD tea, link me. Life changing. Okay, you you selling it? Okay. Or are you going to give them the link? That's nice. Thank you, Greya. Greya said if y'all want some link, uh, talk to her. Mm hmm Thank you. So I guess the, the troll disappeared after she didn't got her information so she can go put it in on Lipstick Alley. <laughs> You would think that if they could find James's income, that they would know his last name, right? So that they could look up his last name instead of my last name. But see, they their information is all crisscross on Chapstick Alley because they don't they don't know what they're doing over there. That's why they're sitting over there cackling like a bunch of old hens that they can't get no man. Talking about me. You know, that's them old ladies that sit on the porch. That be talking about the cute woman in the neighborhood Ooh, and gossiping about her. That's that's me. I'm the cute woman in the neighborhood. And they up there gossiping like some hens. Gotten it, all the facts wrong. <laughs> Girl. Chapstick Alley. That's right. That's what I call them because they, they crusty over there. They need some chapstick. Lipstick ain't going to help them. They, first, they got to clear up the crust and the dust. We need chapstick first. Right. The bitter the bitter ones that would rather put energy into trying to figure out who you are than trying to upgrade themselves. Mm. Okay. They're just promoting me, sending more people to my channel. I have I had so many people come from Chapstick Alley saying, Well, I came to see what they were talking about and I ended up liking you. I'm like, I know, right? Thank you. Thank y'all for sending me some people. <laughs> um, right. You're a ho, Shira. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I'm, I'm sure you pray every night to be just as good as I am. All right. Y'all have to realize those those words have no power to people that know who they are already. No, no power. It's a compliment. <laughs> wow, I see your journalism is going. What is 
you see where journalism is going nowadays. She wrote, the trolls are annoying. They made you miss my last paid comment. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Oh, let me go scroll back a little. I'm, well, sometimes when you make a paid comment, you might be making it as the screen is switching and, you know, going up. Okay. Going back up. I, I don't see it. It must have disappeared. Well, just ask it again. Okay. Thank you. I don't see it. My, I'm sorry. Thank you, Miss Tony Elizabeth. My ex-husband, current pick me of a girlfriend, made me made a Facebook post today saying she was sick of bad things happening to hardworking people and non-taxpayers living flashy, taking trips, and she was going to start exposing folks for who they are. I know she is talking about me. Girl, you need to go right there and comment up under it and say, you mean people like me who are living their best life while you stuck at work with a wet booty and a dry purse? <laughs> Tell, insert ex-husband's last name, hello. Girl, go straight up and, and comment on it. Thank you, Sasha C. Happy New Year, love and positivity to you and your family. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, yeah, go, Tony, go tell them. And put your picture down there, too. Say, who you going to expose? And have yourself, like, on a yacht or a cruise, like, sipping a drink. Who you finna expose, girl, too? Come on, tell me. I'm with you on that. Who? <laughs> you know. Right. So... <laughs> Let me scroll back up so I get this other donation. Oh, wait. I couldn't find yours, the last one. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you know why women are mad? Because they're doing it for free. That's why. And they can't get nobody to pay one bill, but they sitting over there doing it for free and they're mad. They, that's why they're jealous because they can't they can't get no bill paid. You know? They're doing it every night. Got to go to work. Can't get nothing paid. I'd be mad too. The key is to stop doing it. <laughs> okay, I'll give y'all some free game. Stop having sex with people that can't help you. You helping them, but they can't help you. That don't make any sense. That To me, that's dumb. What you doing? Right. Can you talk about building self-worth? Uh, it's Self-worth depends on how you feel about yourself. If you know you all that and you worked at it and you made sure you was all that, you make sure you all that before you leave in the morning by, you know, trying to look your best, dress your best, act your best, then your self-worth will go up. You put in the effort, you know. Um. So self-worth does not work when you walk around looking sloppy. Self-worth doesn't walk around, uh, doesn't work when you walk around with people that are downing you 24-7. Self-worth doesn't work when you have family members telling you, you know, negative things about yourself. Self-work only works when you work on yourself and walk out the house feeling confident and staying away from people that want to lower your self-worth. Okay, so that's how you build it up, by staying away from people trying to lower it. Um, and making sure you put your best foot forward on a daily basis. Okay. That's how. <laughs> that's the truth. Thank you, girl. So that's how you stay away from, uh, negative, jealous people and maybe hope one day they can figure it out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Sheila, what is your mom? What if your mom is that jealous? She sneaks comments in real like, but I know what's up. Then you got to do the same thing. Like if you still live with your mama though, you know, you might want to think about that. But if you don't live with your mother, you might be, you know, sneak them right back in. So, you know, well, 
Maybe you should have did like this when, I, when you was young too. Or I think it looks good. You know, just disagree. Well, I, I know you out there doing A, B, C, and D. And, da, 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 da. and you know, I don't know what she's saying, but I would just confirm. I was like, yeah. And I really wouldn't let any, like, this is your life. Okay, y'all have to remember this. You don't live for your mama. You weren't born to serve your mother. Okay? You were not born to be your mother's minion. You are born to be your cousin's minion or your sister's, sister's minion. You were born to create the life you want. So whatever they have to say about you, it don't matter because you don't live for them. You live for yourself. You make yourself happy. Nobody can make you happy. No one can give you a stamp of approval but you. No one can make you happy but you. Now, it doesn't matter how they feel about you. That's their problem. That's how y'all have to look at it. That's not your problem. You feel good about you. They don't. Obviously, their problem. Just like all the trolls feel some type of way about me. Their problem. They got stress because of me. Again, their problem. <laughs> I am stress free. Again, you know, so their problem, not mine. I'm stress free over here. You got people in the middle of the night up at four o'clock in the morning, typing on Chapstick Alley, uh, looking up records, stressed out. Again, not my problem. Okay. Um, how to deal with jealous two-faced people. Get them out your life, girl. That you have to deal with in school and work. Call them out. I said 2020 was the year to call out jealous two-faced people. Call them out. Like, I know you're jealous. You don't have to hide it. I know you're saying stuff behind my back and you don't have to hide it. I know that's just who you are. I don't think you can help it. Excuse them for their jealousy. Forgive them for their jealousy. I forgive you because I'd be jealous if I weren't me either. I'd be jealous of me too, girl. I don't even blame you, girl. You know, that's all you got to do. It's like, if you know what? I, I really thought about it and I switched places with you mentally. And I guess I'd be jealous of me too. So I'm not mad at you. <laughs> there you go. That's how you deal with it. You'd be like, oh, you know what? I can't even really be upset. <laughs> That's even worse. Thank you, BB girl. That jealous hater is the perfect prop for your video. I know they come right on time, don't they? In real life, jealous women are propping us up without even real. I know they like a good bra. Sprinkle, sprinkle. BB girl, they like a good push-up bra right when you need it. Okay. <laughs> you understand the men trolls, but the women trolls are super disgusting and sad. I know. That's okay, though. Um, I think y'all know women can be really bad. Uh, when you get mad, there's nothing worse than a woman's scorn. So you know women are going to be worse, but you have the same type of understanding as a woman, so you can read her too, you know? And probably eventually end up helping her, even though she's hating and jealous on you, you still help her in some way because she's comparing herself to you. And when you compare yourself to someone you are jealous of and hate, even though you don't even know it, it's helping you. It's helping you figure out what you need to do next. So. I love my haters. I love all the jealous people who learn from me, compare themselves to me. You should too. You should hate everybody. I mean, you should you should like everybody who is jealous of you and compares themselves to you because you can't be jealous if you're not comparing yourself. So if you are comparing yourself to me and you mad, then I already know that you're jealous, you know? And that's a good thing because that's how your level up starts. That's how reality starts kicking in. That's how truth of self starts working. When you start comparing yourself to someone else and knowing you got work to do. 
Okay. So whatever you do, I already know what you're doing and it's a good thing. So Shira, I was saying to be a hundred percent clear you're saving. That's best. What? Yeah, I think you, yeah. Get you an audience, get you followers, then advertise. Because who are you going to advertise to? You know. I'm loving these vibes. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You're a college student. Should you wear makeup and dress to school when I don't want to attract any girl? If you ain't trying to attract no dusties at college, save that for when you go outside of the school zone <laughs> or the campus. Save that for later. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Um, I don't believe in one person. I believe that they are, it's a type of person. And that's more for my spiritual channel because it was a title. If you, if you're very, uh, into that type of information, it's more of a title. So that's kind of like asking me, do you believe in Mr. Moneybags or Mr. Melanin or Mr. Uh, Universe. It's a title. Thank you, Life with DJ JD. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, um, you know, if we're going to discuss that, you know, you got to get educated first on that topic. But y'all still talking to Kitty Kitty Girl? She, she must have hid herself from me. <laughs> so she don't want me to know what she's saying because she embarrassed. That's okay. Oh, Kitty Witty says she is stressed, worried. You all find out the truth, but girl, ain't nobody caring. I don't nobody care enough about my life to be doing extensive research on me, except for you and them other crusty dusties. Okay. They got they they too busy dating getting this money. Okay. They're not worried about me. They just come here to get some information so they can go apply and get their bag. Meanwhile, <laughs> you over here mad because you can't even get a bag. Shut up. Pay attention so you can go get you a bag too. Okay. I'm not hiding from anyone, especially your crazy self. Girl, you sound young and dumb and ugly. You sound like you sound like very plain. You sound like somebody that told you what to be, and that's what you told yourself. That's what you were. Anybody uh, can tell that you don't have high self esteem. Okay, you need to get some so you can stop hating and start dating. <laughs> right, right, right. No, I. I I think people just need to understand why people are jealous of them because they're comparing themselves to you. So celebrities have haters, you know, they don't even know them people we will never know them, but they still talk of trash and researching them, trying to expose celebrities like them. People don't care about you. <laughs> Sensual brunette. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My message is too long to fit here. <laughs> Well, thank you still. I'll see if I can find it later on. What was your name? Hold on. Sensual Burnett. All right. If you type it later, I'll see if I can find it. Um. Mm-hmm. PayPal yourself. Right, right. Sheila, I'm not gay, but shh, haters can't do nothing but be mad. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, any advice for women who are celibate? If you listen to my channel, I never tell you to sleep with a man. Okay. 
So that shouldn't even come up in a conversation. You should be focused on this money. They don't need to know you're celibate either. You know, if you just watch my uh, videos, I never tell women to sleep with a man. I say get that money. Okay. The two don't even go together. In fact, as soon as you, if, if you do sleep with him, you ain't going to get no money unless he didn't invest so much money into you that y'all might as well uh, be engaged <laughs> because, you know. Okay. And see, that's why a lot of women have jealous that's, uh, you know, people around them because they see that you're not sleeping with nobody, but you get more than them and they sleep with everybody. And they can't figure it out. Thank you, Jennifer. Ads for both websites shows products to strangers. Okay, but they just scroll and click right off of those, especially if it's not something that they want. You know, uh, thank you, Jennifer Springs. For if it's something that everybody wants, yes, go ahead. If it's like, Stuff that people are going to buy anyway. Yes, go ahead. But if it's a specific type of product, you know, uh, you need a target audience. That's what I'll say. Um, so, for example, if I were selling something that's very common, I would not put it in a broad audience because they can get that anywhere. I would put it in a smaller audience of people that I know would like to be influenced and purchase that such item, you know, so that's just me though. If you're not coming from a social media standpoint, then, you know, I would suggest doing what's best for your target audience. Okay. Can you PayPal yourself? Make a, yeah, you sure can. You PayPal yourself. You can cash app yourself from PayPal too. I think, no, no, you can't. You can PayPal yourself, though, from a different PayPal account. <laughs> uh -huh. How do you know when someone is jealous of you? You can feel it. I used to, you know, I used to hang around girls when I was younger, and you can feel their jealousy. You can feel it. It's, it's strong. It's a look that they'll give you. It's how they'll say your name. You can hear it. You know, they lip a curl up. You can tell people are jealous. Mm hmm I don't, ha I don't hang around people like that. If I see one ounce of jealousy, either I'm out or I'm going to make you even more jealous just to, to watch a squirm. Okay? Because two can play that game. You know, I had a friend one time and I could tell that she was very jealous of me, but I there was nothing that I was, you know, could do about the reason why she was jealous of me. So um, I kind of backed off because I felt like she didn't want me hanging around her because I, I look better than her. So I let up, you know, I, I just uh, backed off because I knew that's what it was. Like don't don't try to be my friend and you go if you know I look better than you and then you're gonna get mad later on. Oh, they want to be your friend at first and then when they realize it's backfire and now they want to be jealous. So like when I was younger, that was a big problem. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, you're so fun to be with. And then then as soon as they try to get around somebody, somebody, you know, or flirt with men, it didn't work out for them. Then they don't want to be your friend. So don't if if you do not have friends that look better than you. That's number one. Unless you are on the same level, somebody going to be jealous. Thank you, Life with uh, JD. I'm overweight. Should I focus on losing weight before I try to get a sugar daddy? You should be doing it at the same time because you can get you can get a sugar daddy. You can get a splendid daddy, a sweet and low daddy. And when you lose the weight, then you're going to get a real sugar daddy. You know what I'm saying? So keep practicing. You need to practice. You need to get out there still. See what you could do. And at the same time, it's going to motivate you to lose more weight. Okay. Because they're, you know, I think if you wait, you're going to get discouraged and change your mind and then just go backwards. If you're out there doing it, it's going to motivate you even further. All right. You're, you're going to be put into the situation day, uh, 
daily or every other day. So you need to keep keep at it. Um, you said, what about a Stevia daddy? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Kitty Woody, nobody can see that comment because you use too many bad words in it. So uh, YouTube like cloaks it, but I'll read it. You are mad, Shiva. You are scorned and bitter. No, that sounds like you, baby. <laughs> you sound mad and bitter. I mean, obviously you are if you on Lipstick Alley. Mad and bitter. Girl, she's still here, mad and bitter. She she live on Chapstick Alley, probably. <laughs> mm hmm I have not. What do I think of the Facebook dating app? I thought it was funny. Like, I didn't get on it, but you know how when you get on Facebook and something is new, it'll pop up and say, oh, Facebook dating app. I'm like, what? Oh, this is going to be a hot mess. <laughs> All them dust is on Facebook. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be funny. Um scroll back up. Okay, let's see, did I miss? It's not showing up. Oh wait, here it goes. IG gets you target and specific audience. Yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle, that's smart. Mm-hmm. Get I say use everything. You can't go wrong if you just do it all. Thank you, Winter Rose. I was pepper sprayed once by chance at a nightclub, and I think I had to do with my friend Jealous Energy. Strange night by Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. Who pepper sprayed you? That's crazy. Thank you, Winter Rose. I'm sorry to have it to you. <laughs> all right. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, um, thank you. Well, you know, sometimes jealousy becomes the focus instead of self. And that is the exact opposite of what you even want. So jealousy just backfires on you, honestly, because it's taking attention away from yourself. And putting it back on the other person who you jealous of. So what you're doing is stupid. If you're a jealous person, you real dumb. You know, if you live in jealousy, if you wake up jealous, if you troll in jealousy, you stupid. Something wrong with your brain. Because all you're doing is taking the focus off of you and putting it on the very person you don't like. All you're doing is spotlighting them. And to more so you know it a smart person will welcome the haters and welcome the jealous people but they will also let them know that they know what they're doing and so all you're doing is holding a spotlight up on me just like a sick a stage hand okay so you know um that's how i think about people look you you want to advertise for me you want to hold a spotlight great go ahead because you can't be on center stage, obviously, till you level up. That's what I think. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, Sheer. I'm currently employed to support my family. I want to level up and marry rich what should i do i don't want to let my mama down why can't your mama go get a job that's my question how old is your mother you know what i'm saying she can't work something wrong with her where your daddy at where your other sisters and brothers you know i mean She's sick, something wrong with her, she handicapped, what? 
that's my question. Did she raise you to be her worker? I don't know. Seems like you need to figure that out because um, if your mom can't take care of yourself herself, she don't have a man to take care of her, or you don't have other siblings to share the load. To me, it sounds like, you know, she should have planned better. But she should not stop you from living your life. Maybe you can give her a little something, something, but you're not finna pay everything. You're not finna give your all because then you have nothing left for yourself. Then you're going to end up just like her. Okay, so don't do that. Be smarter. Mm -hmm. Break the cycle. Mm. Sarah says, how do you not feel jealous of white women who seem to have more options generally? Um, Because I create my own world and I create my own option and I don't feel jealous of anyone who I don't compare myself to. Oh. Stop comparing yourself. You know? Do you compare yourself to an Asian woman? Do you compare yourself to an Indian woman? You compare yourself to a Eskimo woman? Stop comparing yourself. Okay. Look at what's in front of you already and use those options. I don't compare myself to nobody. <clears throat> I'm going to get what I'm going to get. I'm going to get what I plan to get. I ain't going to stop until I get it. Don't compare yourself to people. Stop looking over here on their plate and look and see what's on yours. You know what I'm saying? See what, see what's out there for you. Okay. Don't compare yourself to anybody. <laughs> when you compare yourself to someone, it's it's sort of like you're limiting yourself. You know, why not reach higher? Why not reach in, in a whole different direction? Why not approach it from a whole new direction? Why you got to compare? You know, that's kind of like you can't read. Y'all remember in the old days when people couldn't read and they go to the restaurant and they look at the menu, can't read a word on it. And they look over to the next table and like, I have what they're having. That's what that. That's the same thing. Stop. Get some game and you can have whatever you want. Okay. You said white people are the standard of beauty. Yeah, with their fake butts, fake tans, and fake lips. It sounds like everybody's the standard of beauty if you mix them all together. You know, you want you want big lips, you want fake booty, you want tan, you want somebody won't bleach over here, somebody won't, you know, the Indian women's eyebrows and hair. What y'all y'all making a whole Frankenstein woman? <laughs> Okay, what y'all really doing is making a a, a whole Frankenstein woman. Y'all taking the best part of this one, the best part of this one, the best part of that one, the you know, the part of this one that you think you like, and you mixing it all together for your look. That's all you're doing. Each woman admires the next woman. Y'all, this woman admires your lips. That woman admires your eyebrow. That woman admires your butt. This woman admires your skin tone. This woman admires your hair. So y'all all are the standard of beauty. Okay? Everybody's the standard of beauty these days. <laughs> okay? That's just what it is. Everybody pulls from something. Right. Right. I don't, I don't, I, my standard of beauty is my standard of beauty. I, if I like something, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm saying, oh, that's cute. And if I like, oh, that's cute. I want that too. I'll take some of this, some of that. I'll take that too. Cause then I look better in it. Okay. I can pull off any look. I can, th I can throw on a red wig, a blonde wig, a green wig, an Afro wig. <laughs> A box braid wig. I'm going to make it work from any angle because that's who I am. I can do it. So, you know, it's all in here. 
It's on your, your confident level, which you know you can do. Stop living by everybody else's standards and live by your own. Mm-hmm. And people are all going to have different tastes. You know? You said you want to see the Afro. Y'all might see one soon. Shoot. You know, uh, y'all might see an Afro wig soon because um, I'm working, with, I'm going to start working with this wig company like on a contractual basis. And they just going to send me some random wigs. So, you know, do not be surprised if you see me wearing something and talking to y'all about it. Knowing dang well <laughs> that you don't wear this freestyling, okay? Warning now. You, know, you you see me up here in a red wig? I'm getting paid, baby. Getting paid. Oh, <laughs> they might send a fro. Shoot. I'll make it work. Um, they probably gonna send a short wig too, y'all. I see me up here looking like. <laughs> but it'll be fun and interesting. Right. You're brainwashed if you think. Sometimes it's the standard of beauty. Everybody's the standard of beauty. Like there's beautiful aspects of every person, you know. And I think that's what the look of today is. You know, pulling from everyone. Mm -hmm. No, this is my wig. This is my hair. This this is not a wig. This is my real hair. But I'm saying, y'all probably see me in more wigs in the future, and talking about it on this channel. Because a lot of people ask me, oh, where do you get these wigs from? I like that wig. What do you think about this? So I'm going to talk about a little bit more on this channel. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Angie. How, can you do a picture critique live and say what's wrong with my look and why I'm not getting guys to pay my bills? It might not be your look. Sprinkle, sprinkle. See, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't like, I would have to see and hear your voice and all that kind of stuff because sometimes your look is fine. It could be your mouth, it could be how you talk, it could be, you know, how you pronounce your words, it could be, you know, uh, a lot of things. It could be uh, your vocabulary, it could be just little small things that will turn people off quick, fast, and in a hurry, especially people that have money. You know, um, when people have money, they don't want to, uh, you know, and they want to date you and they want to introduce you to friends and family. You have to represent. That's what I'm saying. You got to go and represent. You got to represent. That means you can't be someone that's not going to fit into their circle. So if your speech is good, if your walk, your talk, your outfits are good, um, you know, if you're not very, uh, if you don't use a lot of profound language, you're most likely going to get what you want. If you, because by the picture on here, you look good. I could only see your face though. So, All right. Thank you, Radka. Areas of freestyling in Houston, please, girl. Anywhere in the uh, the rich area of town, you have the Galleria, you have uh, League City by the yachts, the, by the marina, you have. No, that's that's Kima. You have um, downtown. You have, you know, the medical center where all the doctors are. You know, you have country clubs everywhere. You have the suburbs. Katy, Sugar Land, the Woodlands. You know, you got to get out there. Um... Right. Mm, please reconsider your lesson. No, Kitty Witty, shut up. Please reconsider your look. Okay, please reconsider your life and get one. 
It's so funny. Like, where is your YouTube channel? Why don't you go preach the opposite? Why don't you go tell people to be good, wholesome women so they can get ran through and dumped and, and drug on the ground. And then so they can come right back over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't live in we don't live in your world, whatever world that is. We don't live in dumb world. Okay. She probably ain't never had nobody treat her bad because she never had nobody. She don't know what she's saying. She up here trying to give advice. Ain't never had a man. She over there watching Disney over there. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. You see that's Wallace pretending? Yep, probably. Girl, he probably hacked his uh, sister's account <laughs> or his, uh, his girlfriend account trying to see if she doing something. Thank you, Kia. She are you serving a look today? Thank you, girls. Trolls gonna be mad. I know, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They already mad. They've been mad. Mm hmm. <laughs> um. Waiting on Prince Charming. That's right. She waiting on Prince Charming over there. Um. He's rich and into palandry, meaning he wants two girlfriends and those girlfriends should have other boyfriends. How do I benefit? Getting them bills paid? <laughs> Asking them for money? You know, usually when people do that, it means, you know what he's really telling you? I want two girlfriends, but I don't want y'all to be bothered looking for me. Y'all can either have your own life on the side because y'all aren't going to be important to me until I need to use you up. And since y'all got other boyfriends, y'all don't really need my money. And that's the excuse that I'm going to use. Oh, well, you got a man. You got a boyfriend. Ask him why you with him then. If he ain't giving up no money, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothering with him. You know, they're going to come up with all these terms and type of relationships to get out of giving you money. Get that money up front first. Okay. Not like dating a rich man doesn't mean a thing if he ain't giving you no money. Okay. That's like dating a celebrity that will never claim you, never spend money on you. You're just being used. Right. Mm-hmm. Kitty witty. Kitty witty. I can tell you stupid. I can tell you young too. Or very inexperienced. You know, I can tell you have not been out there. Right. So there I'm not even gonna bother with you no more. You don't have a life, you ain't got no man, you never had a man, and you wish you did. That's that's all I know. I can tell by how silly you sound. <laughs> how to impress an introvert millionaire by being cute and pretty and feminine. Okay, they're supposed to be trying to impress you if you are the prize, darling. But, you know, be cute and feminine. You know, hold his hand, laugh at his stupid jokes. Um, advice on how to deal with jealous ex-wife when kids are involved. Don't deal with her. You know, don't deal with her. Do like Alicia Keys. <laughs> don't deal with her. <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Janelle. Shira, our spouses should never see us with head scarves on and are not made up, correct? I, I didn't say your spouse, but I said um, whoever you're dating should never see that. And... You should, uh, you go to bed at night. You you don't need to look like a turnoff. That's all I see. 
And they might see you at your worst, but they don't need to see you like that for very long. When you come out of your room, when you leave your house, you need to represent. Don't walk around your house looking like the maid all day. That's what I said. I get up. As soon as I get up, James might see me walk through, get some coffee. But the next time I walk through, he's going he gonna to turn his head because I'm going to be looking good. Okay? He ignored the first walk through. He already know not to focus. <laughs> okay? So as long as you don't stay like that all day long, you don't have a problem. The first 10 minutes after you wake up, yeah, get you some coffee. And go head to the room and fix yourself. Okay. <laughs> something. Do a little something. At least do your hair. Mm -hmm. So, leveling up every day, yes. Mm-hmm. You said Caribbean men don't care about headscarves at night. That must be American black man thing. Um, I mean, some some of these women be wearing bonnets though, looking like a you know like a shower cap type thing, and you know some wear scarves, no makeup, and then you know in America, you know looks are very like in the forefront. So you sitting there. Your man sitting there scrolling on his phone and seeing everybody looking good. Then he look over at you and you look like the maid. Um, he's gonna be like, he's gonna feel cheated, especially he got money. He was like, dang, well, I gotta go to bed with the maid. You know, before you look like this, and now you're looking like this. Oh man, you know, so it's kind of like you know, think about it. Wouldn't you be mad if your man didn't look the same when you laid down with him that he looked, you know? Or wouldn't you be mad if your man didn't spend no money on you or buy you a birthday gift or, you know, pay for your meal? It's kind of the same thing. It's like, you know, you get to say, oh, I'm married to a surgeon or, or, or but then when it when it come down to it, it's not you're not getting the full benefit out of it. So I think try to find a different alternative or some way to look cute. Put some lingerie on with it or something like if you got to have a headscarf and no makeup, distract them with some of this. <laughs> get you a get you some lingerie. OK. Right. So if you if your man is like, oh, I don't like when you wear them scarves, he ain't supposed to be looking at your head if you got something going on down here. So that's an alternative. Get you some cute lingerie. That he won't be even looking at your face. Or your head. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway, there's a timeline. She, what do you say for men who do not want their lady to wear makeup going out? Does that make him insecure? It makes him insecure. And if he ain't paying every bill with your name on it and giving you pocket spending change money to go shopping, then he don't have nothing to say about what you look like, especially if he's not your husband. Okay. And even if he is your husband, he still don't get a say in what you put on your face or body. He, he can say it, but that don't mean you're going to do it. Okay. Um, that's like you telling your husband, look, I don't like, or your boyfriend, look, I don't like you wearing sneakers and, and, and basketball shorts. You need to go get some slacks and a nice button up shirt when you leave my house. That's the same thing. <laughs> okay. You, can, you can't leave the house looking like that, looking like a junior high school student, you know? You think he gonna listen to you? You think he gonna go ahead, you know, put something on and, and okay, I'm gonna put this on before I leave the house since you don't want me going anywhere. He gonna be like, Tch. so that's exactly what you need to do. Okay. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So.
If they don't like makeup, they don't like you. If a man tell me he don't like makeup, then he don't like me. Because I'm going to be made up every day. He go, or he going to learn to like it or something. <laughs> right. Only American men equate bonnets with ghetto. Everyone else knows that these things are close. Yeah, you know, because they be walking to the store. They go to the store in it. Like a lot of that. This is what I call Bonetta. Bonetta is a character that I made up. And it's a, a woman that wears a bonnet everywhere. She'll take her kid to school in it, walk around in it, go to the store with it. You know, uh, show up to the parent teacher conference with it on. Uh, be in the department store with it. Okay. That's a no-no. You see Cardi B looking like Cardi B. Yeah. That's a no-no here. <laughs> I try not to stare at people in bonnets because I don't want to trigger them, you know, because they know why we looking. I would rather you wear a scarf, a hat, a wig. Don't wear the bonnet, though. Mm -hmm. How do you tell a married man you like him? You don't tell a married man they, that you like him. They're supposed to tell you that they like you. Oh, yeah, Sasha found the cat. She was downstairs on the couch, but the couch is dark and the cat was blending in because the lights was out. So she was in camouflage. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for checking on the kitty. Um, so, you know. <laughs> the bonnets got to go. Don't wear them in public. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't tell a, a man you like them. They're supposed to tell them, tell you that they like you because then you'll be a pick Misha. You know, how are you going to go up and tell a married man, ooh, I like you. That's ghetto. He's supposed to be coming up to you. Okay. I'm serious. Like, I would never. You got to come up to me. That way I know I can get something out of you. How do you hit on a married man? You don't. They hit on you. That's how. <laughs> if they're not hitting on you, that means you're not worth cheating on their wife with. Thank you, Bella. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He's wealthy but married and want to provide for me and have intimacy, but I want to get married and have my own kids. He's tw I'm 29. He's 45. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, so, okay. So just get his money and still date other people until you find the one. That's what you're doing. You don't have to sleep with him if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. That's not your permanent situation. You can get his money, skip sleeping with him, or you can sleep with him, whatever you choose to do. You can get him to pay all your bills. You do whatever you need to do, have, have him do for you, and you can still date while he's at home with his wife. See, you can win. You don't have to stay faithful to a married man. That makes zero sense. <laughs> okay? Makes no sense at all. You sitting over here single, but he over there married and you not dating other people. That's not, that's not right. Okay. Sure. What is the age difference between you and your husband? Mm, probably 25 years. Thank you, Graham Marie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Once you tell a man how you feel, they change. Stop this. Exactly. Don't tell them how you feel. Mm -mm. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you need. Not how you feel. <laughs> no, tell them what you want. Tell them what you need. 
okay? Then after you get all the things that you want and all the things that you need, and you got that ring, if, if, if that's what you want from them, then you could tell them how you feel. Okay? Then you tell them. I don't know about moving to a new city. It's Robbie, because I've never moved to a new city. Mm hmm. Are you a man or a woman? Oh, I, I know not. To, okay, you're a man. Don't yeah. You you don't tell nobody how much you make. But I don't have any. You know, find somebody online that lives there. Make friends with them. Meet up with them when you get there. That's my best advice. Right. Right. Married men cannot be stolen. That's true. They got to want to be stolen or they got to leave. You know, that's that's another thing. A married man cannot be stolen. They have to be looking. Because I sure didn't go up to James. He came up to me. That means first thing that he was looking. Second thing is he risked his own marriage to talk to me. So you can't steal no married man. They have to come up to you. Okay. I'm not going to say, oh, you're married. No, especially when they lie about being married. If you're going to lie, say you're not married in the beginning, that means, oh, you trying to, you, you know, you're trying to do something. you trying to get, you trying to get, you know, you trying to pay these bills. So you can't steal a man. They have to want to be taken. Thank you, Lady Hathor. Thank you so much, Shira, for all your help and advice. I purchased three of your books. They were so very, they were very helpful. Thankful. Thank you. You're doing God's work. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Lady Hathor. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate that. <laughs> but honestly, you can't steal a man. They gotta, they gotta be coming, you know, they gotta come looking for you. If they gotta lie, if they got to come look for you, if they not at home with their wife and they out with you and looking for you all day, every day, then you're not stealing nothing. They looking for an escape. Okay. So y'all need to stop with that. Oh, you steal somebody's husband. You can't steal a husband. Can a man steal a wife? How many men are out here stealing people's wives? Ask yourself that question. Not many because, you know. Women aren't like men. They're not married and actively going out pursuing other men while at, while married and lying about it. Oh, I'm not married. Oh, no. How are you doing, sir? Women don't do that. So, but men do. Why? Let me tell you why. Because they're still looking, even after marriage. They're seeing what else is better out there. They don't let no marriage stop them. If they want something, they want it. If they want it, they want it, you know, so you can't steal a husband. Um, uh, right. Why do they keep looking even after marriage? Because they didn't marry who they wanted to. Okay. They didn't marry the woman that they really wanted. They probably married to pick Misha, Bob, Barbara the Builder. You know, masculine. We need to come up with a new name. Mask, mask, masculine man, uh, masculine, masculine Mallory. Manisha. You know. They're not married to the type of woman they want to marry. They probably married young, bought, you know, build up with that woman, had some kids. Now they're ready to jump ship to to a, to somebody else that they really like because they have the paycheck now. They didn't put in. They got the tenure. They can put in work. They got that four hundred one k working. They got that higher salary. They finally got to them six seven figures. So now they're ready to jump ship to to upgrade. Okay, so. Honestly, that's why they keep looking because they you weren't the one for real. You was the one for now. You know how they say uh, first, uh, second wife, better life. 
That's how it is. Right. So don't be one of them first wives. Don't be them bop, don't don't bob the bill with anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and one time I was out with James, and I think I told this story before, and his um a lot of his friends knew he was married. So this this is how a man operates. His friends all knew he was married, but he would bring me around them. You know. But all his friends knew he was married and they did not care. They was happy, you know. And then there was this one lady who knew his wife and him and she tried she tried to call him out and we uh, she tried to call him out and she was right here in front of me. She's like, oh, how's your wife? And they have been him and his wife have been separated because we've been together for like a year or two. And then he was and he was about to answer. Or I don't think he wanted to answer, but I said, oh, I'm fine. Best response ever. Because, uh, <laughs> let's go, oh, I'm fine. Because everybody used to call me his wife, even though I was his girlfriend, because we would always go places together. So that was like my nickname. Oh, how's wifey? How's wife? You know, um, and then when we finally got married, you know, I was the really wife, but I was so used to people calling me wifey and stuff like that when it would come to him because his friends all knew that we was together. I was like, oh, I'm fine. And then I realized, oh, he's, she's talking about the other one, the old one, the, <laughs> the ex. So, you know, that's how you got to deal with them jealous haters. You just got to meet them head on. Masculina. Right. Mask, mask, mascalicia, mascalicia. <laughs> anyway, the first wife was very attractive, but I think she kind of let herself go and gained a lot of weight. But uh, she was pretty. Just was too masculine, <laughs> you know, Bob the Builder type, independent. Right. Mm hmm Right, right. Right, right. You know, and here's my thing. If any woman on here feels some type of way about... Um, other women dating married men, it's because y'all are insecure that y'all's man is, you know, looking. You know what I'm saying? So don't take it out on the woman. The woman ain't looking for your man. They looking for her. Don't be mad at women. Be mad at the men. If you can't control your man, if you can't trust your man, if you marry for him for fidelity, then something wrong with you. You know, um, so a lot of women should not be upset with that because at some point or another, a married man will approach you and at another, and at some point or another, um, um, you know, somebody will steal somebody's husband or somebody will marry another person's ex husband. That's how most men meet their next wife. Okay. Think about it. How do most men meet their next wife? I'll wait. See, men aren't stupid. They don't wait until after the divorce. Some of them do, but most likely they've already been dating and didn't tell you. Men aren't stupid. They don't wait till after the divorce, after they didn't, you know, let themselves go to go find another one. They find another one before they even leave you. They make a smooth transition so they don't miss a beat. Okay, y'all need to learn from them. <laughs> They're like, oh. On to the next. And 
And a lot of it is due to people nagging and emasculating their men. You know, you go home and nag your, to your man, why you don't do this? Why you don't do that? Why you don't take me out? And he's like, oh, Lord, I shouldn't have came home. So what did he do next time he get out for? He go to the bar and he he sees somebody that, you know, oh, she looks nice, da, 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 you know. Then he starts thinking, well, maybe I could replace her with her. You know, so that's why I say don't argue and don't nag no man because that's all you're doing, nagging him right to somebody else's arms. <laughs> okay, if your husband hate coming home, he might be out with another woman. Right. If my husband and I got in an argument and in anger, I told him I'm going to move out. And he said, fine, move out. We haven't spoken in days. What shall I do? I mean, y'all are married. Don't move out. Stay exactly where you are. When he needs some sex, he going he gonna to come speak to you. Okay. Mm hmm knocking on the door. Um, <laughs> so, you said she couldn't take the heat. Oh yeah, you're right. I could take it. You're just, you're just such a good troll. I mean, out of all the trolls on YouTube, I mean, I think you're the only one that ever really got me. Actually, you're one of the worst ones. I like the trolls that have some, you know, some fire to them, you know, so some challenge. Shoot. People think you're a gold digger because he's 55 and 26. It's been three years. We can't, we always travel. Gifts introduce me to everyone. He treats me better than anyone. Good for you. I can't shake off their jealousy, girl. That's good. You want people to be jealous of you. See, you know why they're jealous. Because they can't get what you got. You know, just act like you know they jealous and just ask them to buy you something in front of them. That, come on, use it. Thank you, Grace Jones. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Looking good, Mama. Happy New Year. Thank you, girl. Like, oh, when we get back, could you take me to Tiffany's? <laughs> right in front of their face. What you waiting for? If you can't deal with the jealousy, use it to make yourself happy. Get the reactions. They'll be like this. Hold it on to their uh, Sam's Club jewelry. You know, go ahead. Rub it in. <laughs> then they're going to go home and argue with, with their husband. Why don't you take me to nice places? Why don't you spend money on me? You got a friend that's negative and masculine and pick Misha, but I'm here. Kids, good mom. Her baby daddy is horrible and she thinks I'm a gold digger. I avoid her as much as I can, but still help. But as I can, but still help. LOL. Okay, first of all, when you level up and you have a good friend, she thinks you're a gold digger, A, B, C, and D. Tell her you're correct. I am a gold digger. Do you accept that about me? <laughs> okay. Own it. That way, either she can accept it or tell you, well, I can't accept that. And then you're going to have to think, why can't she accept that? What does that have to do with her? You understand? That means she can't accept it because she can't do it herself. 
and she don't want to see you rise above what she's done. So that means there's going to have to be a wider space in between your communication and your visits because she doesn't want to see you do better than her. Okay. So sometimes you got to part ways or just see each other on holidays, baby. Hmm. Sure, if a man does something that bothers you and you don't want to nag, how do you approach the situation? By doing the exact opposite of what he does. Whatever he does that bothers you, do the exact opposite. Talk about someone who does the exact opposite and praise that other person and see if he changes his ways. You know, use reverse psychology. If you don't take out the trash... If you don't pay them bills on time, I love how my, uh, I love how the neighbor across the street always takes the trash out, you know, uh, the night before. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love how he treats his wife. That's so nice. Make him look at himself. By looking through other people. You know. Oh you didn't. You didn't answer my text back. You didn't call me. Da, 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 da. You know if that's the, the case. Oh. Did you get my message? Well since you didn't answer back. I went ahead and wrote a check for. Then screamed the amount out. Oh I went ahead and paid this this and that. In two months in advance. Out of your. Pay, you know out of your uh, bank account. Since you didn't answer. You know, make them regret not answer. Make them regret not texting back. Well, since you didn't text back, I went ahead and booked the trip for three instead of four. So me and uh, two, uh, my friends are going out of town next weekend. But I couldn't get a hold of you to see if you were going to be free. So make sure you check the mail and feed the dog. You know, that's what you do. You don't argue. Jessica B, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Should I be loyal to my sugar daddy or date other men? As Why would you be loyal to a sugar daddy? He got me an apartment and takes care of everything. Thanks for your help. You helped me get this far. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, if he's not married and uh, he wants to be your boyfriend slash sugar daddy, great. If he ain't trying to marry you or anything like that, keep your options open. Just collect the money. Be happy. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. How do you uh, handle emotionally unavailable men? Use the, uh, I hope their money is available. Because that's the only uh, emotional attachment I need. You know what I'm saying? Can you have a relationship with that credit card? Get a cat, get a dog, you know. Most men are emotionally unavailable unless they need something from you or want something from you. Think about it. When is, a, when is the man emotionally available? When they want sex and when they want money. Other than that, they're not emotionally available. So... Why do you, why are you, why are you trying to get them to be something that they're not? Mm -hmm. My dog is my baby and my best friend. Good for you. <laughs> See, you don't need them to be emotionally available all the time. Um, I got to go in a few minutes though, but thank y'all for tuning in and, um, yeah, it's 2020 is the year to confront your haters and your jealous coworkers and letting them know that you know that they're jealous, but you know, the whole, they shouldn't make you feel bad at all. Why? And here's a last piece of advice. Why would you feel bad? For someone admiring you so much that they become jealous. Why would you feel bad about that? 
That's an honor. Okay. Do not take the negative energy that comes with that. Feel proud of your accomplishment. Feel proud of that. Feel proud that you made another person uncomfortable by your greatness. Okay? Dang, I'm so worried I make them uncomfortable. Ooh, I really did level up. That's what I did. Thank you, Jessica B. He wants to be my boyfriend and marry me, but he's 59. I'm 21. Is the age girl. Girl, you better get the bag. Be a young widow. And remarry right after, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You ain't get that deed. Uh, insurance policy, will, all of that. Girl, you better get married. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Secure the bag. That's what we say. Secure the bag. Let's see. How old you think he's going to be when he die? Let's see. Let's do the calculation. I'm going to help you out. So you're 21. He's 59. So the longest he probably going to live is probably going to be about 80 if he's healthy. If he's unhealthy, I'm say 76. Okay, let's see. Maybe 77. So 77 minus 59. There are eight, in 18 years, you will be a rich widow. Let's see, 18 plus 21. How are you going to be? You're going to be one year younger than me, and you're going to be a rich widow. Okay? That owns property and paid. You see? One year younger than me. When he probably leaves. If he's 80, what? You'll be 42, two years older than me. Either way, you're going to be a young widow. And with all his money, you can get plastic surgery, lifts, whatever you need to do. Okay. Get it. I'm serious. Don't pass that up. You won't regret it when you when you get with a Dusty and then you, you live in an apartment with roaches crawling on the wall. You're going to be mad. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. No one is, my husband ain't 70. And you jealous because you ain't even got a man working for you. Old or young. Okay. And if you were 70, he'd be retired. Getting that social security and 401k. So that don't make no sense. Obviously, you don't have anybody in your life. You ain't married and you don't know about money. Right? <laughs> Notice my real hair. Finally. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lolita. How can I receive private sessions with you? You can go to my Etsy. Go to my Etsy store, Dark Realm. This, yeah, and then write me. Um, on there, I hit contact owner. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm hmm. So, yeah, you know, have a man working for you. I love that. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, somebody working for me. Who working for you? Yourself. Um, all right, y'all, I'm finna go. I gotta, I gotta go. I, I, I missed a donation. Hold on, let me go scroll back up. How can I, okay. I saw that one from Lolita. Let me scroll back up some more. Did I miss another one? Thank you, Joan Sings. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sorry, I missed that one. Okay. Give tips on how to grow a YouTube channel. Get on every day, make a video. Talk about something that people care about and need to know. Get on every day, but don't be looking crazy. Come on looking cute. Or cute as you can, or cute as you think you can. Get some lighting. 
share your videos, you know, stuff like that. Put in the work. I don't know. Like, you just got to get on and do what you do. All right? Mm hmm Yes, marry old men and watch them die. <laughs> Y'all are wrong there. Yeah, when I was in the funeral industry, I used to watch that all the time. I used to watch the young widows. <laughs> They'd be in the front row in that little hat, a black hat with a little lace in front of it, looking young and cute. And they husband be in the casket. Huh? Young widow. So that's what y'all have to look forward to. Okay. Um, even people be jealous of the widow at the funeral. How are you gonna be jealous of somebody who just lost their husband? That's messed up. Because you know the jealousy is real at that point. When the 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 woman is sitting in the the front pew and the husband in the casket or whatever, and you hear the little jealous haters and they're like, she married him for money. She got all that money now. I wonder what she gonna do. I bet she gonna get her a young thing now. She can do whatever she wants. Okay, while well, you sitting over there with McDusty, McDusty over there working at McDonald's, whispering, you should have did the same thing. You you talk about, oh, I can't date no old man. Now you mad. Now you jealous of a dead man and his uh, widow sitting in the front pew. That's how jealous y'all are. Y'all jealous of dead people and a widow. Okay. Sitting next to your Dusty in a uh, olive, uh, sitting next to your Dusty in a hunter green suit from the 90s that don't fit no more. The suit he wore to prom. When he... Okay, that's that's what y'all with. That's what them haters with. And they want to be mad at you because you did what you wanted to do because you was a gold digger. Mm hmm. That what they they're going to be real mad when you cash that insurance policy. I promise you. OK, I'll see you all later. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>